going south with Robin and Bill. It's Monday, uh, December 12th at 12.19 and we're headed for Volcanic Peak. Road is a little noisy, but we're doing about just under 50 miles an hour. And there was a few little washouts we might have to put the brakes on. Okay, this is Robin and Bill investigating the volcanic peak again. This is the road up. Uh, we're going to go up this road that they fixed since 19 years ago. It was terrible volcanic rock and it was sharp and they've all truckload after truckload. See what it was like, Rob? Oh yeah, that looks awful. Yeah, yeah. That maybe could be out near a window and, and get the satellites. And uh, then we'll have the road up on there too. So this looks like a two-wheel drive road to me. Yes. Last time I come up here, I came up here in just two-wheel drive. I still have it in four-wheel wheel drive from our exploratory thing on the cow path. So you figure from, uh, if you fly out from the tower, just toward the, uh, the gap out there, on a uh, 20 degree heading, it'll be how long of a carry from where the flag will be to the car, straight into the wind? Looked like about uh, 500 feet to me. And uh, the time was how many minutes? Three minutes. Three minutes to carry straight into the wind, which wouldn't be a bad carry. It's about the same as landing at Dry Canyon at the far end of the LZ. Yeah. toward the tower but the hill is going up to our left it actually gets higher as you go back the way we came so a pilot would take off up here and turn right right in here would be the launch a lot of rocks to the yes. right we're gonna have to explore this okay and here we are at the T we got a tower there and we have it's wide angle I think I got it and here the road goes this way but good open area to set up. Oh yeah, good area to set up. And here is the road down. I figure if I could get the car to go 10 mile an hour here, I could launch off the back of it. Platform. 10 mile an hour for the car, 20 for the wind. Should work. Here we are in Volcanic, Volcanic Peak. Here's the road up. It is beautiful, two wheel drive. And we thought that maybe we'd be able to launch from somewhere in a place like this. And we're looking straight ahead. The camera can't see it because of the fish eye, but straight ahead and slightly to the left. Okay, right about there is north. And this ridge faces 20 degrees. North, northeast. And we're thinking we'll be landing down there where the brush quits and the grass starts. And it should be doable at a 5 to 1 glide. And it's 325 feet from right here down. But if a person launches and gets up higher, the ridge goes up another 100 feet and goes around the corner. And it faces 25 degrees. The face is 25 degrees and about 2 tenths of a mile long. And we figured the paraglider launch be right over there at the base of the tower. Yeah, definitely a, a diamond back. Okay, I came back to the car and I had to jump out of the way for this fella. I'm trying to keep him away from the car so that he doesn't uh, crawl up inside. We had to shoo him away with a shovel. It's kind of windy up here. It's hard to hold this camera steady. Okay, here's Robin. We're at the volcanic peak, right at the base of the tower. I'm in the shadow of the building. 
Robin is standing on the paraglider launch, and I think that direction right out there is probably 45 degrees. And as I move over this way, uh, the direction will be about 22 degrees that way, right up the valley. Blue Mesa and the big white building on the horizon is straight up that way. And Robin is pointing at it. And you probably can't see the trucks on the highway out there on I-10 because the fish eye lens. But this is the paragliding launch. And here, I want to show you the tower. Communications tower. It doesn't seem to be a cell. And under there is a diamondback rattlesnake. Oh, here it is. Okay, we're going to swing and aim at the mountain right here. And show you where a guy would come out toward the road that we're on now. And there is the tower, and they just land between where we are now and the tower. Out in the grass. Oh, now the these grass. cows are particularly nasty. They like to run alongside the car and nip at the tires. We've gone through many tires here. And they act like they're innocent, and they just stand there, and then they'll break into a gallop and chase you out of here. 225, I got your number, cow. <laughs> Don't try anything. <laughs> See? There's some segregation going on here. All yeah. the black cows are down here. And here's the brown cow. How oh, now? Brown cow.